I wanted to make a quick video that shows how to limit the feed rate just in certain sections of tool paths um, using the five axis package inside of Gibbscam. So with the five axis package, you could program three, four and five axis tool paths. So you can actually use this technique um, when you're doing three, four or five axis, but you have to use the five axis package. And I'll show you how we do that here in a second. So here I have a five axis tool path that's just machining this area here. So we can see that it comes up and down this corner. There's a lot of really small tool path right in here. And uh, it's all gonna be at the same feed rate. So what I wanna do is I want to slow it down around those corners because when we look at this as uh, in machine simulation, it looks okay, but we know that as it turns up that radius, it's gonna speed up the table and the table's gonna be a little bit jerky and we might get a bad surface finish because all of those little curve moves are moving pretty fast. So what I wanna do is I wanna limit the speed of that tool path just in that area. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and get out of Machine Sim. So what I can do is I can go ahead and activate this tool path. I've used some pretty fast feeds and speeds just uh, to show this a little bit better. So right here we have this button that says feed control zone. So we can actually limit the feed in this zone and that zone is dictated by a solid that I created. So when I click on this feed control zone and I click on the little uh, radio button here, here I can pick my geometry, the offset from the box, and also the inside feed rate and the outside feed rate. So this will actually override the program feed rate. So we'll say inside and outside feed rate. Inside that area, I wanna go 20% of this, the feed rate. So to pick the geometry, there's a couple different ways I can do it. Let me open up my body bag here. So this solid is going to represent, so that's going to be that zone. So if I come back into my utilities, I can actually go to geometry and I can pick that and you can see that it turns it pink. I'm going to show you another way that you can pick that zone also. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. There's these little buttons up here that not a lot of people use or maybe even know what they do. Here it um, allows you to select... Um, part geometry, constraint geometry, or stock geometry. And when we deal in multi-axis, we get this custom mode button um, activated. In custom mode, we can actually dictate different surfaces and zones, for instance, um, using solids and surfaces to predetermine what's gonna happen inside of our tool path. So for instance here, speed control zone, I'm gonna pick that. Right. So now when I go ahead and I click back on that tool path, we can see that our speed control zone is already selected. All right. So we can just go ahead and hit redo this. Now, when we redo it, you're not going to see any changes with the machine simulation or with the tool path itself where you're going to see the changes are in the posted code. So let me show you the code that I created really quick. So there it is in the machine sim. Like I said, you're really not gonna see a big difference there. So let me stop this and open up the posted code. So here it is, here's with the, the zone on, and here's with the just the regular without the zone defined. So we can see that without the, the zone defined, but you know, the feeds start here at line 12 and 13. We can see that it goes from 900 to 1500. But now if we start at 12, we can see with that speed control zone, it limits that's the feed rate inside of that. So it goes to 900, and then it drops down to 180, and the actual feed rate is 300. So that's how you can limit the feed rate in certain areas using the GibbsCam 5 axis option. If you have any questions about programming in 5, 4, 3 axis or limiting your tool path, uh, reach out to your local reseller or give GibbsCam technical support a call. Thank you.